Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. It's been a while since I've had a tri-tip, so today we're going to do a reverse sear on a tri-tip using our Weber kettle. Here is our beautiful tri-tip from Matador Prime Steak. It's about two pounds. What I did about two days ago was I put a half a teaspoon of kosher salt per pound so a half on one side, half on the other. I let it stay in the, in the refrigerator for two days, one covered and then the second one uncovered. So I'm gonna spray some olive oil on this. We don't really have to add any more salt because we've got plenty of salt from the dry brine, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we're just gonna get us a nice coating of olive oil. You see I did a little bit of trim already on this all the way around and I will leave a recipe for what I've used this is just one of my seasons that I've put together it has no salt in there but I will leave a description in the show more section below what I used all right we got a nice coating on here what we're gonna do is go get our kettle up the temp, so we'll see you outside. Right, we got our kettle set up with the slow and sear, and we're going to get these coals. I got about 12 coals. We'll get those started, and then we'll add the rest of the coals in there so we can cook at indirect heat for around 225. About where we want to be, we're going to stay between 225 and 250 around that area. And we're using the XR50 uh, Maverick. So let's go ahead and get this tri tip on. Get our probe somewhere right in the thickest part. Get it right here. Right there. Close the lid. Again, we've got it about a quarter on top and a quarter on the bottom. We're looking for an internal temperature of around 90. Once we get to 90, then we're going to flip it. And I like mine medium, so we're probably going to go closer to the 130, 135 before we do a reverse sear. Okay, we're at 90 degrees internal, so we're going to Flip this over. And come back. Again, we're probably looking at around closer to 130, 135 before we take it and do the reverse here. All right, we're good to go. We're about 135 degrees internal. Now we're gonna fill up our slow and sear and start doing our sear. One minute and then flip and then one minute. One minute's up. Now we're gonna flip. Alright, we're gonna take this up, let it rest for a little bit, and we're gonna cut into it. Now we've got grain running this way, and we've got grain kind of running that way. So what we're going to do is cut it kind of right in the middle here. This is my 2-0 cutlery knife. Let's see how this thing turns out. Look at the color. Let's see if we can That is cooked perfectly. Wow. Let's cut 
cut into some more. My favorite part, let's do a taste test. See if the camera will focus in on that. Look at that. The Matador Prime Steak. Beautiful piece of meat. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. So juicy. So tender. It's like just butter in your mouth. It's simple. The seasonings we used. Again, I did a dry brine. It gives it keeps that moisture inside there. And then it's just simple brine to use. And then that seasoning. Oh my gosh, it works great together. Try this. Again, I'll leave the information below on the seasons that I use. Super easy to do, guys. Thank you so much again for watching as always. If for some reason you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, I hope you would consider subscribing and God bless.